I know you hear this all the time. We creators come on here and tell you that the gear doesn't matter. And for the most part, this is true. If you're just starting out, you can absolutely just start out shooting with a phone. But every once in a while, a new player comes into the game and totally upheavals the content creation space. Last year this time, I would say that was the Osmo Pocket 3. Still one of my favorite content creation cameras. A lot of people are not used to such a thing and they're always getting questions for a small beginner friendly mirrorless camera that will make amazing pictures and make amazing videos. And I have that for you today. Welcome to my nice to know, nice to have November series where I talk about the things I wish I knew or I wish I had when I started my content creation. Now, most people on this channel know me as a Sony guy. This is my Sony ZV-E1, not the cheapest camera. This package as it sits is about 25 to $2,700. And this is a fantastic, highly capable, amazing camera. I absolutely love this camera. It takes amazing quality photos and amazing quality videos. And this guy has been a mainstay in my scene. I am currently shooting this with a Sony ZV-E10. That has been my master studio camera for going on three years. And I wanna call it flawless, okay? Then I wanted something that I could go out and get more creative with and just shoot for the sake of shooting. Like not trying to find bangers and heaters for the gram, but just shoot photos for the sake of honing a craft and staying creative. And a couple year and a half, I bought a Ricoh GR3, which is a fantastic point and shoot camera. And I got that because I was replacing my Sony ZV-1, which kind of went on vacation. So... I loved that camera so much, and I found that when I was traveling and going on my trips, I would just have fun shooting for the sake of shooting and staying a little creative. So that led me into the camp of Fujifilm. And I got, which is the hottest camera for like the last two years, was the Fujifilm X100 5, and now this is the X106. These have been the two hottest cameras in the business. It's all, all the TikTok, it's all the rage, because this guy shoots in that old school aesthetic and minus my extra accoutrement, which I always do, uh, it is a very pocketable camera. Like minus this plate and this uh, extended lens with the black pro mist, it is a very pocketable camera. For a big dude like me, this is a pocketable camera. So I love, 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 love this. I fell in love with the, the look of the Fujifilm, the color, but I, mostly I fell in love with the simplicity. And although I'm somewhat of a camera geek, it, it has a very, very simple mode. It also has a complicated mode. So I can hand this to my niece and she knows exactly what to do. But if I wanna get in and play photo bro, I can get all up in here too and do a lot of cool things. The things that really made this rage is the film simulations. And I can put some sample images up for you, but the film simulations, big si simulations <laughs> give you that old school photographic aesthetic and it makes the images just look so good. It doesn't look like that real edgy, sharp, cl overly clear digital photo look that comes say out of an iPhone. Let me introduce you to the new game changer. This, my friends, is the Fujifilm XM5. Three quarters of a pound, 335 grams, AKA 12.5 ounces. This guy doesn't weigh jack. It is super small. And it has all 20 film simulations right here on the dial. Whereas in the previous camera, you had to sort of hunt for them. It has the PSAM dial right here on the top to get into all of your modes. It does shoot photos at 26 megapixels, and I'm not gonna make this a spec video. There are thousands of them on the channel already, because already this guy is hot. But for a new content creator, it has the Fuji processor with the AI subject detection, which means you're gonna have really easy time finding your shots. Like it's gonna know what to do. Um, it does have a flippy out screen for that creator mode life, right? So you can, Hey girls, I'm up in here. I don't have the lens on right now. I'll put it on in a second. It does have an articulating screen. Uh, one of the first things I'll do is get a screen cover for that. <laughs> it can do all 20 film simulations and it can do some bursty photos at 30 frames per second. But most of all, why I think this is great for beginning creators. You can shoot normally 16 by nine. You could also shoot in vertical mode straight in the camera and it knows what to do. It automatically moves those things to your phone so you can then post them. 
but it also has ability to shoot what's known as open gate. And again, I'm not going to make this nerdy. Open gate is a format that basically shoots you a picture that looks like this, and you can choose later whether you want to have it in the landscape or the portrait mode or horizontal slash vertical after the fact. If you shoot normally in landscape mode and you go to crop in for a vertical shot, it sort of pushes in and yeah, it, it, it works, but this works better. Uh, another thing I really love about this for creators, it has a microphone jack right there on the back. So if you want to insert your favorite microphone there, you have that capability. And yeah, it's just light and small. So I got the kit version that came with this 15 millimeter to 45 millimeter lens, which is just perfect for blogging. And although it's a plastic construction, it has the real deal Holyfield Fuji glass in there, which is borderline impeccable. So this tiny little package right here, again, this doesn't weigh jack. <laughs> this is so light, it's almost funny. This will be amazing, both for your running around doing content in your house, but when you take this on the road and you go and travel and having those film simulations, it puts the fun back in taking pictures. And I find that even if you're a videographer, sometimes just getting out and taking pictures can just give you that certain je ne sais quoi, that extra creative bump. Now, I bought along a couple of little accessories to go with this party. So I'm going to show you what I picked up from Small Rig. First thing I always get for one of these guys is this Small Rig thumb rest because I got big hands. So we're just going to slip that baby on right there. It covers up the lens and look, it covers up the uh, hot shoe. But yes, I have a perfect little place to put my big, fat, beefy hands. Now, as you can see, this camera is short for my hands. So one of the other things I always get is I always get a plate. And I really like this plate because it gives full access to the battery door, three or four different tripod positions. The little screw piece or screwdriver is sort of built in and yeah, absolutely love it. So this also comes from small rig. And in this kit, it came with a hot shoe thing to cover the microphone, if you wish, which I will keep in the bag. I don't plan to shoot that much video with it, but I will do some video samples for the channel. And both of them came with the extra little press button. And as you can see from my previous Fuji, I like that because it just gives a little, oh, he need a manicure. It gives an extra little, it gives a little feel to it when you snap that button. So let's go ahead and show you that. And then I'll also show you, I picked up the little leather sort of protector too, because sometimes you just want to look swanky while you're out here doing the dirt. You know what I mean? So I have choices when I'm going out to shoot content where I know I'm going to use a tripod and things like that. I'll use this bottom plate because it has already the built in tripod plate accents and it even has a little indicator to let you know when you're center. But nine times out of 10, I'm going to be using this little leather guy here just because it looks super swanky on the body. So let's start with that. It's like chaps and I'll keep all the chap jokes to myself right now, but we'll go ahead and ooh. Don't drop that. I guess we shouldn't talk about traps and immediately drop the screwdriver, but we'll just go ahead and drop this in just to give you an idea what it looks like with it on. And again, when your camera has this pretty little aesthetic to it and it takes aesthetic pictures, it, it puts you in creative mode. It makes you want to go out and shoot. Look at that. Now I got a little bit more purchase on the body because of the leather. This leather will patina really well after a couple of days and let me go ahead and pop the thumb screw on again something you don't see on your, your sony canon nikons is you don't often see that who look he turned it on <laughs> anyway so I'll turn that back off a few moments later now i can turn it back off there you go so the battery does need to be charged. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a quick little charge and get back out. But again, one of the reasons why I think this is a killer package is the size. It looks very fun. I, I picked it up specifically because I know how much fun I have with this guy. I just wanted to see what I could do with this. And this guy is tiny, it's small, it's something I can grab. Once I pick up the pancake lens for it, which will make this package even smaller, this will become my new pocketable guy. This guy will get more rigged out. And I'm gonna go shoot some sample photos and some sample videos, but I wanted to let you know, if you're in the market for a camera at 
or I believe $8.99 for the full kit. Incredible. So I'm going to put links down because you know these will be available on Black Friday. I'll put links down in the bottom below. But if you're looking for a new camera, something small and travelable and pretty and brings back, which if you ever shot old school that you're into, like, yo, this is the guy. I just got to strap this baby on and I am in. I am ready to go do work. So I am curious. What are you looking for when you're looking for a small pocketable camera? And what cameras do you recommend? Drop those down below. And if I have any info of them, I'll make videos about those as well. This has been another video in my nice to know, nice to have November series where I talk to you about the things I wish I knew or I wish I had when I started my content creation journey. I'm going to go have some fun right now, but YouTube is going to put up a video that they think you should watch, and I kind of agree with them. Go ahead and click it. Right I need here. to know everything. Who in the what in the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you'd be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, man.